guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to M4J Racing here on F1 2020. We are still here in Sochi, in Russia, about to head into P3 and qualifying. First and foremost though, uh, my rivalry here is with Leclerc. We're back at 0-0. Uh, I did somehow manage to beat him still uh, in the last race. Uh, I think it's because qualifying and finishing the race took me to 30 before him. Because I was one point ahead of him going into it. And I think it is like a first to 30 or whoever has the most after the certain number of races. So I've got five races left in the season. Uh, six races left in the season actually. But five races of the rivalry. And um, I'm hoping to make it a hat trick. We will see. Uh, my driver rating isn't that far behind his actually. So that's quite interesting. And you know just the five pole positions. Three podium finishes. Two race wins. Average grid position of seventh. Average finishing of 13th. That's not so good. Four fastest laps though. Got that. You know, who else can boast that? Hmm? Anyway, practice three. Let's do this. Qualifying pace and race strategy, or whatever it's called. We're going to do those. Alright, let's have a look at the old session info. No one out there yet. Literally no one out there yet. So, the world is our oyster. I think... Oh, wrong button mark. I think we're just going to go out there and start um, blitzing lap times. Oh, team objectives. Yes, I completed them all. Awesome. Right, let's go out and do qualifying pace. We'll do flying lap, because why not? Cool, I'm just doing the, watching them uh, race around Monza for qualifying. It's not even the race, it's qualifying. They are absolutely flying around that track. That is unbelievably fast. I wonder how many of these virtual drivers would drive that fast in a real car. It is amazing. I love the opportunity that virtual esports actually offer these days. You might not okay, be. This is a quali sim. We've estimated the times our closest rivals will be doing, so that's what we need to beat. You might not be the best driver in the world in real life, but if you can simulate it in a game, there's no reason why you shouldn't be allowed to compete. I just didn't turn. It's cool. It's fine. It's still green. Whew. Ugh, I went way too early on the throttle there. Corner practically made me dry heave then. That was so bad. Still green. As long as I keep the delta green, we're laughing. Target 17th. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and Seven. I talk you through the numbers. You know, that's a Q3 lap right there. I don't know what my fuel's like. Okay. Box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. You have no choice, Jeff. I'm your boss. I am currently going faster than my quality lap even, but that might just be because I've got less fuel. And I need to turn that down. I also need to turn that down. Uh, and then I need to remember the brake into the corners. You're nearly out of fuel. Almost out of fuel. You need to pit within the next two laps. I'm aware of that, Jeffrey. Thank you.
Box this lap, please. Box this lap. Did I just bounce off the bollard there? I think I did. Gonna hit the wall then. Oh, that would have been a career ender. That would have been so bad. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. God, can you imagine if I just drove into the wall? I think I would have just ended the recording and burnt my PC. Oh, come on, encoder. You're not overloaded. Calm down. In fact, can I. Can I turn some of these down? Oh, frame rate limiter. That would be handy. Yeah, 120, please. Um, none of that stuff ha matters. Confirm changes. Advanced setup. Aha! Yeah, some of this stuff can come down. Okay. Maybe next week. <laughs> it doesn't need to be ultra high. As much as I'd like it to be, it doesn't need to be. If it helps the encoder, I'm happy. As long as it's like... The wheels aren't going to look like Minecraft blocks, let's put it that way. They're not going to be square. Okay, where am I on the old timing sheets then? Old Valtteri ahead of me right now. Okay, I'm going to very quickly do um, race strategy. Oh, wow. Exceeding, exceeded target, sorry. Let's go do race strategy. We'll do flying lap for that as well. And I think I'm ready for the old uh, qualification. And hope that I put in a good couple of laps. And don't crash. That's basically what cost me in Singapore as well, wasn't it? I hit the wall. I had to go back in and have my wing replaced. So I only had one chance to do a lap in Q2. And it wasn't good enough. I keep every track... Has a Give corner. Us some consistent laps, please. We're looking for good data that we can work into the race strategy. Every track has a corner where I hit the curb and swing out. Here we go. That also feels like one of those corners where you turn left to turn right, if that makes sense. Like you give it a little bit of a swing round to the left and it opens it up more for you. I could be completely wrong. There might be people out there thinking, what the hell is he talking about? That's what it feels like. blow my own trumpet too much but I think that's the best lap I've ever done like in the history of the universe that felt so solid
That was a good one too. Okay, super job so far. We're getting great data. Stay focused. Oh, that was almost. Yep. Jack in front of me, it is. Yoo-hoo! Any chance of letting me through, Jack? I'm going to have to do it the hard way. Knowing you, I'm probably going to have to do it the hard way, aren't I? Now, I don't know if he was letting me through there or if I am just that much faster than him. I think he let me through. He was very generous. test is technically complete, but I can do the last two laps to just increase data. I might as well do them. What am I going to lose? Apart from my dignity or a front wing. Yeah, that's a bit wide. What lap jack? You never know. I don't know how I held that then. That was, yeah, that was something. And again, I don't know if you guys even saw it. That'd be so disappointing if you didn't. Okay, super job so far. We're getting great data. Stay focused. Stop overloading the encoder. I actually think this entire recording is going to be messed up, to be honest. That was like a minute of encoder overload. Oh, well, last lap of this at least.
Okay, test complete, and that was a very good job indeed. We got a lot of valuable information out of that. Alright, I'm going back to the garage. So what I'm going to do, I think, is... In just a second, between practice and qualifying... Uh, let's go to the timesheets. I'm going to stop the recording, and I'm going to watch back the footage that I've just recorded now and see if it's actually really bad. Our best lap so far is a 1 minute 36.8. Where's Jack? I want to ride on board with Jack. Is he out? No, he's not. Of course not. Why would he be out? Is he going out? No, he's not, is he? Well, okay. I'm not riding on board with anyone in. Screw that. Wishful thinking. Now, I wonder if it's a bug that it keeps resetting me to to one. And with all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. Bottas, Hamilton, and the owner driver. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. Not bad. I mean, Jack in 20th, that's bad but me third i'm quite happy with that if i do that in qualifying i'll be very very happy but yeah i'm going to stop the recording here we'll come back back in the uh, the team hq and i'm just going to check what this footage actually looks like so bear with okay so i watched back the footage and actually the bit that where it it really overloaded for like a minute or so i watched in pretty much the entirety of that back and it wasn't too bad actually like it, was, it wasn't smooth don't get me wrong but it wasn't like really really bad so hopefully fingers crossed uh, when you guys come to watch it, it looks okay as well. Um, Sochi Autodrom. Mind your line through turn three. You don't want to be breaking in a straight line for four, so don't run too wide before that. So let me get my numbers straight. So turn is turn one the one off the, um, the pit straight? That little kink to the right with DRS, is that turn one? And then turn two is the 90 degree. Turn three is the long one round. And then turn four. Maybe? Who knows? But we are ready for qualifying. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get into P uh, P3. Let's see if we can get into Q3. Shall we? In terms of my target, it's ten to six at the moment. And I needed to be done by seven. So I think we're online. I think we're online still, and the videos are about the same length as always, so I haven't been rushing things too hard. I was quite happy with that. Um, I am, though, going to get straight out on track now. In terms of the car setup, I'm pretty happy with it being balanced, or the custom setup, I should say. In terms of things here, like fuel load, fine, whatever. Front air, front wing aero. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to mess around with anything. So park firm eight, let's do it. And we're going to go, let's drive out for Checks this one. Complete. We're ready. Oh, Mercedes going out early. That is a surprise. And a Ferrari right behind. Some big surprises so far. Now again, it says the encoder is overloaded. I'm hoping, though, that it's like a false alarm. I'm going to take it easy on this warm-up lap want to push things too hard and then just gun it on the actual hot lap. We've got the Ferrari right up our chuff still, so we're going about the right pace for a warm-up lap. Whoops, doodle. Running wide doesn't help, of course.
Alright, here goes. Hot lap time. That wasn't a very good corner. That one wasn't too bad. That one was pretty good. That one was very good. Nice little hop and a bump over the curb. Yeah, Gasly with the fastest lap currently. I didn't actually see what his time was. I have a feeling, though, I'm not going to beat it. Bottas with a 134, and I went wide. Oh! There's only one lap of fuel remaining. I think I actually would have beaten Bottas if I hadn't run wide there. So that wasn't very smart, was it? And then Charlie going faster and Fiat going faster. If I've done enough to get through, is it worth pushing myself to do another lap? I'm going to say yes. Our best lap so far is a 135.5. I'm going to do a flying lap this time, so it's just focusing on the hot lap. scratch on my forehead. <laughs> it's the stress, people. Alright, here we go. I think that was, yeah, don't go too wide. What did I do? I went too wide. Somehow got away with it. A little bit of corner cutting just to uh, trim the daisies. Uh-uh, back in red. Oh, this has gone horribly wrong. Good thing I'm still fifth, isn't it? That was a tremendously bad lap. It actually started off quite well. So busy looking at the delta though, I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing. I want to give this another go.
That's better. That's better. Why do I dip back into the red? Ow. Let's just uh, go back to garage there, shall we? I got through. That's the main thing. I got through. It's going to be a lot harder in Q2 now, though. I don't know if I have to sit and wait for them to fix the front wing before I can go out. Probably will. Have to. No? Very generous. Alright, let's go. Flying lap, please. Let's get out there. Let's do this. I pressed the DRS button too early again. That's going to cost me a shed load of time. I feel like during the race I'm going to push that limit there a little too far and it's going to cost me. slow. That was really slow. Hamilton currently fastest. Come on, Marky boy. Punching well above my weight here. Second. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Faster than Vettel, faster than Bottas. you got to be happy with that, right? You've got to be happy with that. If you want to know specific information or make certain changes to the car during a pit stop, you can tell me what you want over the radio. Press and hold the radio button to activate the system, and you can either speak the command or select it manually from the radio screen that will appear on the multifunction display. While the radio is active, cycle through command groups with the MFD button. Just going to watch Lando for a bit fly around here. engine doesn't sound too healthy. Is it meant to sound like that? Does mine sound like that? Oh, also, when I watched the footage back just now, there might have been an issue with the car sound. I don't know if I've fixed that or not between recordings. I hope that it's not a major issue. But you just don't know with these things. It sound like it was underwater. Or like a bit muffled. So I don't know if that's an actual issue or not. Apologies if it is, if you can't hear the car that well. Am I still second? Yeah. Alright, let's speed up a little bit. Again, I might not need to do another lap. I'm going to anyway. Let's see if I can beat Hamilton.
basically, if my if my oops, if my delta goes red from the get go, then this isn't going to end very well. I'm going to try not to look at the delta. I'm just going to focus on the racing line. Here we go. Way too early there. That's a shame. That was a really good second sector as well. I found all the little shortcuts. But it looks like we're through to Q3. Elimination. So, Ocon, Perez, Norris, Gasly, Stroll, and Giovinazzi all out. Going through, Sainz, Bottas, Fiat, Leclerc, Ricardo, Verstappen, Vettel, Albon, the owner-driver, and Hamilton. Let's go Q3. This is where everyone goes faster than me, and I end up starting 10th. Bring it on, boys. Bring it on. I like doing the whole get out early and let them beat me thing though. That seems to work really well as a strategy. Yeah, that's wide as hell. Yep, let's uh let's not dwell on that. My tyres aren't warmed up yet, that's all. I'm not a bad driver, honest. Let's go. Get that wing open. That felt slow. That felt way too slow. I've been so brave in that corner so many times, and now I'm just bottling it, and I've no idea why. I'm getting really good at Sector 2 now, though. like a pretty well put together lap like no big mistakes to speak of I just don't know if it's fast enough oh 
Oh, second. You're currently on the front row of the grid. Woohoo! That was a lot braver there. And even then, it still drifts into the red. Alright, let's head back garage. And then we'll uh, we'll see, shall we? Session info. Twiddle over. I can't see anyone beating that. That's the thing. Should I do one more for luck? Do one more for luck. I should have just enough time to swish through. Twenty seconds. Okay, I might not have enough time. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Whiff that corner then. I'm going to spend the rest of my lap trying to recover from that one bad corner. Yeah, look, I'm over half a second down. Well, it looks like I'm going to be P2 at the moment. I don't think anyone else is going to beat me. I'm catching up to this Red Bull. So if he's on a flying lap right now, which I don't think he is, but if he is, then he's not going to catch me because I'm gaining on him now and I'm on a red lap. He's on a he's on a cooldown. Oh my god! I turned. I just didn't turn into that one. I'm over a second down. Definitely not good. Ugh. But it's cool because I overtook a car on a cooldown lap. So that means I'm fast, right? There was actually no point in finishing that lap. Again, I should have just bailed and gone in. Alright, second place. That's not a bad place to start. I can see that it goes 3, 2, 1 and the Mercedes just leave me. But, hey-ho. Let's let Crofty do his thing. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Bottas, the owner-driver, and Lewis Hamilton. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. It wasn't much between me and Hamilton. What, 0 0.37? 0 0.37, sorry, of a second. Not bad. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Anyway, that'll do for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you enjoyed the series, drop some comments down below with feedback. Let me know how you will improve the car in the factory for next season. Besides all that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have already subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.